1934 Tour de France. The 1934 Tour de France was the 28th edition of the Tour de France, taking place from 3 to 29 July. It consisted of 23 stages over 4,000. 470 km 2778 my. The race was won by Antonin Magny, who had previously won the 1931 Tour de France. The French team was dominant, holding the yellow jersey for the entire race and winning most of the stages. Every member of the French team won at least one stage. French cyclist René Vieto rose to prominence by winning the mountains classification, but even more by giving up his own chances for the Tour victory by giving first his front wheel and later his bicycle to his team captain Magny. The 1934 Tour de France saw the introduction of the split stage and the individual time trial. Stage 21 was split into two parts, and the second part was an individual time trial, the first one in the history of the Tour de France. Innovations and Changes The major introduction in 1934 was the introduction of the individual time trial ITT. There had been time trial-like stages before in the Tour de France, but they had been run as a team time trial. Since the format of the Tour de France changed in 1930 from trade teams to national teams, the Tour organization had to pay for the housing, travel and feeding for the cyclists. The organization received the money from the sales of Lotto, the newspaper that organized the Tour. A lotto was a morning newspaper, while one of its competitors, Paris Soir, was an evening paper. Paris Soir was also following the race, and was able to publish the results the same day, while a lotto had to wait for the next day, publishing old news. To counter this, the stages in the Tour de France had started later, so they would end after Paris Soir had to print their newspapers. The Paris Soir sports editor had countered this by starting his own race, the Grand Prix Destinations, run as an ITT. The first edition in 1932 was not received well by the cyclists, but from 1933 on it was a success. The tour director Henry Disgrange saw the success of the French cyclists in the Grand Prix Destinations and adapted the individual time trial format in the tour. Not all cyclists were happy with the ITT. Rene Vieto, a climber, said it was a dull test of horsepower, while a bike race should also test the head. Other cyclists said the ITT would negate the effect of good teamwork. The bonification system from the 1933 Tour de France was slightly reduced. Now the winner of a stage received 90 seconds bonification, and the second cyclist 45 seconds. In addition to this, the winner of the stage received a bonification equal to the difference between him and the second-placed cyclists, with a maximum of two minutes. This same bonification system was applied on mountain summits that counted for the mountain's classification. In 1933, there had been 40 tourist routiers, cyclists not competing in a national team, but in 1934 this was reduced to 20. In previous years, these tourist routiers had to supply their own material and arrange their own hotels. In 1934, the conditions improved, and tourist routiers were given the same treatment as the riders in national teams. Teams, as was the custom since the 1930 Tour de France, the 1934 Tour de France was contested by national teams. Belgium, Italy, Germany and France each sent teams of eight cyclists each, while Switzerland and Spain sent a combined team of eight cyclists. In addition, there were 20 individual cyclists, other than in 1933. They were no longer racing under the nomer touriste route here, but as individual. In total, this made 60 cyclists. Free race favorites, 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 favorites. The French team of 1934 consisted of all good riders, with the core of the team being the winner of 1933, Georges Spiker, Roger Lapy, former winner Antonin Magny, and Maurice Archambaud, who had performed well in 1933. 
the French selectors were criticized for selecting René Viateau, a 20-year-old rider who had only won some small races. The Italian team now included Giuseppe Martano, who had ridden as a tourist routier in 1933. The Belgian team, which normally included some big contenders, was lackluster. Route and Stages The highest point of elevation in the race was 2556 and 8386 ft at the summit tunnel of the Col du Galibier mountain pass on Stage 7. Race Overview Ooh, Overview The first stage was won by 1933 winner Spiker, and again wore the yellow jersey. In the second stage, he lost his lead as there was a split with Spiker in the second part and Magni in the leading group, and Magni took over the leading position. In the fifth stage, Legrebes and Spiker finished close together. After examining the photo finish, both cyclists shared the time bonus, although Legrebes was named winner. After stage six, before the heavy climbing in the Alps, Magni was leading with almost eight minutes on second-placed Martano. In the Alps, Vieto was the best. He won stages seven and nine and climbed to third place in the general classification, half an hour behind Magni. Had he not lost 40 minutes in the first two stages due to flat tires, he would have been the leader of the race. Martano had been able to reduce the margin to Magni to 125 seconds. The stages 12 to 14, between the Alps and the Pyrenees, were won by French cyclists, without important changes in the general classification. In the 15th stage, Magni attacked on an early climb, but Martano did not drop. The big climb of the day was the Pimorans and Vieto lead while Magni and Martano followed. On the way down, Magni crashed on a pothole and broke the wooden rim of his front wheel. Martano saw his chances and raced away. Magni asked Vieto for his bicycle, but Vieto only gave him his front wheel. Magni's frame had been bent in the crash, so when Spiker, the next French cyclist, showed up, Magni took Spiker's bicycle. Vieto had to wait several minutes to get a replacing front wheel and lost all chances for the stage victory. A photographer was present to take a picture of Vieto, weeping with a bike without a front wheel. When this picture was published, the cycling world was touched and newspapers proclaimed him Leroy René King René. In the 16th stage, things got worse for Vieto. He was first over the first two mountains, with his team leader Magni and Martano closely following. On the descent of the port at Dasbit, Magni crashed again and broke his rear wheel. Vieto was unaware of this and continued. When he was down, a tour course marshal informed him that his team leader had crashed. Lapey was far ahead, and all the other French cyclists were far behind, so Magni was without support. Vieto then turned around and rode back up the mountain. When he reached Magni, Magni took Vieto's bicycle. Magni rode down, reached Lepi, who had waited for him, and together they caught Martano. Vieto had to wait for the service car to bring him a new bicycle, and finally finished four minutes behind Magni, Martano, and Lepi. Vieto was not happy with what had happened, and he said that Magni did not know how to ride, and that Lepi should not have been so far ahead. Magni, on the other hand, was grateful for what Vieto and Lepi did. In the 17th stage, Magni was able to get away from Martano, who broke his frame, and finished 13 minutes ahead of him while winning the stage. Magni now lead with almost 20 minutes. In the 18th stage, Magni lost four minutes to Martano. It could have been more had not Vieto and Lepi collected the time bonuses on the mountains and the finish. In the next flat stages, nothing really changed the general classification except the individual time trial in stage 21. Magni won there, increasing the margin to Martano by eight minutes. Vieto had won back enough time to end in fifth place in the general classification, and won the mountains classification. Magni had ridden consistently in the entire tour and had benefited from his team support. He won his second Tour de France, the fifth in a row for France. Classification leadership and minor prizes 
the time that each cyclist required to finish each stage was recorded, and these times were added together for the general classification. If a cyclist had received a time bonus, it was subtracted from this total, all time penalties were added to this total. The cyclist with the least accumulated time was the race leader, identified by the yellow jersey. For the mountains classification, 14 mountains were selected by the tour organization. On the top of these mountains, 10 points were given for the first cyclist to pass 9 points to the second cyclist, and so on, until the 10th cyclist, who got 1 point. For the fifth time, there was a team competition, this time won by the French team. The team classification was calculated in 1934 by adding up the times of the best three cyclists of a team. The team with the least time was the winner. The fifth national team that started, the Belgian team finished with only two cyclists. So according to the rules in 1934, they were no longer eligible for the team classification. Fourth placed Felish and Vervi became the winner of the individual's category. This classification was calculated in the same way as the general classification, but only the cyclists riding as individuals were eligible. Final standings General classification Mountains classification Team classification Aftermath the individual time trial that was introduced in 1934 was a success and has been used since then in almost every year. Rene Vieto, who had sacrificed his tour chances for his team leader Magni, was convinced that he could have won the tour instead 